Oh boy, guys. We're hiking in to do some backwards perch jigging and possibly Did catch an underwater Tyrannosaurus Rex. Backwards or backwoods? Backwoods, backwater, back somewhere. Are we backwards though for We're doing this? Backwards. But it is absolutely beautiful out. Soft even snow. We brought a shotgun in case we were tagged by a rabbit. This is beautiful. This is just the fresh tracks we're looking for. But they're fishers, not a rabbit. That's a good big male one. Females, females get smaller. Males are pretty good looking. Critter. Might see it. They're like an angry wolverine type critter. He's they looking love. for a rabbit too. They love eating rabbits and red squirrels. Yeah. Somebody got snowed on their neck. <laughs> Here we are, somewhere. Oh, on top of I don't know what. Swampy water is the most dangerous ice there is. Oh, that's great. So there's currents here. Oh, there can be upwellings. Pretty easy. Not drowning, but getting wet up to your thigh. It's kind of rough and good. Now you tell me when we're out here. That's nice. Trust, I guess. Do I trust you? Well, here I am. Boy, I'll be mad at you if I get wet. Wouldn't I be the one to get wet? I don't know, you weaken it and then I break it. Bye. We're out here. <laughs> we did break through a couple of times. Nobody got wet feet. I hated it. <laughs> Melanie hated it. We saw some moose tracks on the way through. Now, there's a stream that comes out. We have to stay the heck away from that. And we're going to proceed with the utmost caution. One thing my father told me that the further you are off the road, the less risks you should take. I think is good wisdom. So there's nothing like a spud to tell you what you're dealing with. Oh gosh, that's not that much ice. We're not dealing with much right here, but that's because this is a mucky, murky oh mess. But there's eight inches of ice out on the main part of the lake. Somewhere. So we're gonna proceed with caution out onto the good side. I don't know what I'm doing. I saw a otter tracks, it's great. They're a lot lighter than us. So a bunch of, was it four otters here one summer that popped up next to us while we were fishing? Yep. But they can't help themselves though. They gotta slide, slide, then run and slide. Otters just like that. Just don't die doing it. <laughs> like I said, there's some dinosaurs in here, but I don't really want to take them out. I'd love to catch one, see it. So we're going to use circle hooks on a jig pole, on a tip-up. Because uh, these fish are too rare and too awesome to take out of here. But too cool not to try to catch. I got 100 pound mono. And I got some nice chubby. And the beauty of these circle hooks is the fish takes it, runs it away. Instead of gut hooking, that hook gets in the corner of their mouth and it sets itself. We only got about five feet. Melanie dropped and caught a small perch right there in five feet. So we're gonna call that right where the monster wants to be. And we're only gonna go two feet under the ice. Because if he wants us, he'll find us. <laughs> Hopefully we get a flag. First flag of the year would be cool. We'll see. But it's cold out here. That I know. There's also a lot of bass in here. I don't want to catch, I don't want to hook a bass either. So we're going to try these circle hooks. Okay. Oh boy. Oh my God. Look at them all. Woohoo. All right. Yeah. Here's the update. It is cold out there. Oh, oh really? Right. Yeah, bring it in, bring it in. Uh, no. okay. Yeah, I think you got it. No, nope. you didn't. Well, there's perch here, but they're not exactly the perch we're looking for. I've been known to keep some small perch, but that's a little bit below the oh, line. Man, you were there. You gotta but go. there's also big perch. <laughs> uh, this is hard well, earned. We, we are working 
uh, very hard to find some nice perch and a lot of micro and I mean I mean scared of a tungsten micro dink perch. Yep. I don't know if we've hit 15 hole setups. There's fish, there's fish almost everywhere. But haven't got a whole lot of monsters. Huh. Well he's got three keepers. Like in the fall. I pounded that monster myself. And but we know they're here. And maybe it is midday, often midday, the little dinks bite Ooh, better than the big ones. Look at that. Don't call them yeah, the there's fish. a lot of fish on there. And we're gonna hit. Well, let's see if this does a little better. We might hit one more hole, and then we might go shoot a rabbit. That'll show them. Why not? Well, guys, it is beautiful out. It's a winter wonderland of awesome. And there's a lot of perch, and they're almost all tiny. We have tinkered with them for three and a half hours. Get that guy. It's too small. And uh, no flags. And probably 70 or 80 perch, but only five of them over six inches. Well, hang on. But it is absolutely beautiful hang out on. here. And we still got them working the screen. I'm optimistic. But <laughs> some days, when you try something new, you sometimes get a big pile of poo. All right, if we can't get our protein in uh, fish, maybe we can get it in rabbit. This is a uh, over and under 22 Magnum and uh, 20 gauge Savage, kind of an ideal rabbit gun, because if they're standing still, you want to shoot them in the head with the 22, and if they're running, you want to miss them a couple times with that 20 gauge. So let's give this a whirl. We want nice, thick stuff. And that's what this, this whole part of the Adirondacks is like, rabbit woods. So, we got a couple minutes before dark, let's see if we can find a track, find a rabbit. Well, it's not super fresh, but that is the track of a snowshoe hare. Look at how big its back feet are, and there's where its two front feet. So it sets its first front feet and then it wraps the back feet around, that's how it runs. It's a big critter, it's snowshoe hare. Shoot, a lot of adult ones will stand that tall and they weigh a couple good pounds. They're uh, a lot higher on the uh, food chain than like a cottontail. So they're smarter, there's not as many of them, harder to get, but if the conditions are right, and actually we probably should have rabbit hunted today instead of fished. Cause this fresh snow, if you jump one, you can track them. And a lot of times they'll run up ahead, they're white. In the winter they're white, they call them the varying hair. In the summer they're brown. You can sometimes spot them white on white with their little black eye poking out at you. But we'll give it a whirl. 